I'm going to admit right now that I don't know much about sailing. I've been on schooners, catamarans, even those sunfish boats, and I just don't get it. But what I did learn the other night when I went aboard a colleague's boat was this, and these lessons while sailing can easily translate into business. Now, if you don't know something, don't pretend to know something. Sure, I felt like a fish out of water. I just couldn't remember bow from stern, starboard from port. I mean, if you're standing at the back of the boat, wouldn't port be on a different side than if you were standing on the front looking back? It's confusing. So don't throw out terms that you're not familiar with. You're gonna look dumb. Now, if you're feeling queasy, don't bother staring at the horizon. It just doesn't work. If something has you nervous at the office, deep diaphragm breathing from down here. Now that actually works. It'll calm your system in the same way that it can put the kibosh on anxiety before a presentation. I was skeptical too. But try it, you'll see. I wasn't even nauseous. When the skipper tells you to do something, by all means, don't delay. Time to crank back that sail? Well, there's a reason for it. Same could apply when you're at a town hall event or an expo, for example, and a video doesn't play or the volume is turned down too low. Crank it up right away or no one will see the work you did. It does happen, folks. Do the dress rehearsal with the actual clip. Thank you. Finally, if you're stuck with people that you have nothing in common with and you don't know what to say, well, start asking questions. Questions about mostly anything. I mean, listening to them talk about themselves will break the dead space and you'll start building a rapport. You might even find some common ground. Try this also if you are at lunch with colleagues and the conversation has gone stale. I could talk to a wall, folks, and that wall would answer me back. So just go for it. Yeah, oh yeah, one more thing. In the unfortunate event that you run aground, well, just don't say a word. Zip it and breathe. Bon voyage.